Well, I got into uh, rock bands in high school, uh, rock, new wave, metal, funk. And uh, the plan was to be a rock star, first and foremost. Uh, but you know, all those bands broke up for all the same reasons that the band always breaks up. Uh, just said, uh, you know, Dan was right. I decided maybe I had to go to college after all. Studied music and got the degree. And uh, while I was in school, that's when it became possible to be a video game composer without being some kind of lippy blue programmer. Because, you know, I always played video games, but I never thought that was a career option for myself. Well, uh, you know, I write uh, music for all kinds of media. And they all have their specific um, challenges. Uh, so writing for film, of course, you have uh, the film dictating your structure. Uh, writing for games, there's an interactive element often for the in-game music at least. So you've got to write music that maybe is in layers or maybe has branching capabilities to make it seem like whatever the player does something that has been scored in time. Trailer music in particular it's, uh, well, we've all seen trailers. There's a lot of building up and pausing and then coming back even stronger and then building up even more and then pausing. Just when you think you couldn't get it any bigger, it comes back in bigger. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's one of the biggest challenges is to keep, you know, to, to get somewhere even higher than the last one. Uh, writing for trailers is uh, it's a, a specific challenge. And uh, in general, it's supposed to be really big and mean. And I'm best known for really big and mean music. So I'd uh, researched this Aztec language and gotten a lot of um, Aztec poetry accumulated. I went through and wrote a song, if you will, for the choir in the Aztec language of the want. And, uh, and so <laughs> that's, that's how I got it to sound rather mean because there's um, cannibalistic lyrics in it. You know, coming from a, a rock and roll sort of background before I got into orchestral writing, a lot of the time my uh, orchestral music's pretty well translatable to rock and roll. The cello lines are all rock and roll approved. I think this is no exception. It's a very action adventure sort of piece. I'm Gerard Marino, best known for my God of War scores. I'm here for the A-list recording session.